Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today I want to discuss dietary displacement. So years and years and years ago, there's this guy named John Berardi who started a company called Precision Nutrition. And I read this article he wrote on tnation, t-nation.com. And he called it some, I don't remember what he called it, but it was about dietary displacement. That's what he called the, uh, the thing that he was teaching. The idea being, if I have a plate of stuff, then I should eat the lowest calorie, highest nutrition, healthiest for me stuff first. That way, if there is dessert available, or if there is, you know, buttered up, loaded sweet, sweet potato or baked potato or whatever, then I am less likely to overeat those things. If I have all of my, if, if I make my plate, let's do it this way. If I make my plate and half of it is vegetables and I eat all of those vegetables first and I make sure I, you know, I sit there and I chew everything. I don't just inhale it all. That gives my body time to start telling my brain, hey, we got food down here. We're probably going to be okay. You don't need to just inhale everything. So dietary displacement means I want to set aside all of the space that I can for the healthy things, consume those things first, and let then the rest of the, the you know, stomach volume that I have available to me, let that get filled in with the things that are higher calorie, like a marbled steak or uh, loaded baked potato or something like that, or even dessert. If I just start having donuts and then I have my broccoli at the end, I'm not going to eat that much broccoli and it's going to be real easy to eat a lot of donuts. Okay. That makes sense, right? So that tip is probably the, the hackiest, like most persistent thing that I actually think about still to this day. I read that article probably 10 years ago and that that um, tool has proven to be very effective for eating better day to day to day to day and for making better decisions at any meal.